Hello everyone, it's Nathan here at Nitex Studio. So today we have a simple question to answer and that is how do you move from this basic Archicad door which is a double door hinged on both sides and it has side lights on either side and a basic transform and transform it into something like this which is a metallic casement door which has the same side lights on either side but this time with a division, horizontal division and as well some vent transforms at the top. So let's get started with this. So first of all, I'm going to move across here and I will make a copy of this door such that we begin from it. So let's go to the settings by control T. So here in the settings, we want to adjust this default door. And uh, first of all, let's begin from the preview and positioning. What I like to change first is the, the reveal to wall face. So currently it's going all the way to the top. Sometimes you want that, sometimes you don't. In my case, I like to reveal some part of the wall. So I'm going to make it about 100 such that, you know, walls have finishes and uh, I don't want my door to be connected to a finish. So I'm going to have it somewhere in the middle and when i go into the hinged or settings click on this option and then let's crawl up and find shape let's begin from shape so this is where we want to start from and the side light we choose crosses transform depending on what you like to see i'm going to also enable horizontal and horizontal divisions on this other side and the height of those horizontal divisions is derived from the shape that we choose so if we go here in the door settings and opening we can choose a type so in this case i did like the look of style 40 which i usually like to use and this height of the division is about 750 from experience so i'm going to go back here in shape and just change that height to 750 because i know that that's where those divisions should be in order to align with the division which is existing now we want to also change those the dimensions of those frames so now if we go back here we want to find frame style and dimensions and then we uncheck uniform frame widths and make this a little bigger because frames in the doors are much bigger so i'm going to use around 120 and the same this side 120 on either side such that this arm and this other arm are a bit thicker than that the rest can stay the way it is it's really fine because it's metal it can be as thin as 40 millimeters so next we want to go back here in the door settings and let's look at these handles so the handles are what whatever you choose them to be and for this kind of door let's choose like a style style four and we can do the same for the next leaf as well and choose the same style style for such that we have those two that help to open the door itself the next we are going to the side light and transom now the side light and transom is going to enable us to choose the vent so middle transom is here first so we're going to change it to vent sash and then also transform one is going to be vent sash and transform two as well as vent sash now by default we have a solid panel on the side light lower so you want to change that to no grid or the glass just glass so change the side lights to also to no glass such that we have some glass there so one more thing that we need to that i like to remove is the um casings because i feel like metals metal doors shouldn't have one but you can leave them it's up to you next is uh, how this thing is going to look like so let me go to model attributes here and i'm going to check on uniform door surface such that i use like an metal so i'm going to press m so you can see i have metal aluminium selected i say enter and as well the louvers should have uh, metal aluminium in my opinion so now i think we have tweaked more than just enough let's see what those look like we can always come back and boom there we are i think we did ch change everything that i needed to be changed so 
that's it. That's really how you go from this to that. But but before you leave, I like to show you something interesting. Is how what if you wanted to use the same door over and over again? Well, if it's the same project, then it's easy because you can alt click to pick this door and then put it somewhere else and there you have it. But what if you wanted to use this door but in another project and you love going through the same, same, same process? Well, there's a tool for this, which is the favorite. So you can save it as a favorite. So when I select this door and I go to the settings by Ctrl T, I can find the favorites here. So I can save this as a new favorite. So click here on new favorites. I'm going to make this, um, do with vents something all right and then i say okay so now you can see that it's here and it's been saved so in order to export it i'm going to need a favorites palette go to window palettes and find the favorites palette so this is the favorites palette and you can see it's already there so with it selected we can click here on this button to exp import export. So now when you click import export, we have an option to export that very same. So we can say hmm, export only the selected favorite and I say export and let's also name it do with vent here. Yeah, do with vent and I'll hit save. So, so now if I go to a new completely new project, something like this. So I need to, to import it. Like we said, find the palette in window, palettes and favorites. So the palette is right here. Now we can come to the import export and this time we are importing. So hit import and you can see that now we can see that door with vent. When I say open, this is what has been imported, the door with vent import and there we have it down here so now if we double click it we can use it in this new project awesome right so i hope you did learn something give us a like and subscribe if you haven't already and and i'll see you next time